In last few videos, we have explored how to create plans and elevation inside Synapse. Now that we have built all those drawings, it's time to take it to the next step, visualizing them and turning everything into a clean architectural presentation. So open your Synapse project and let's turn your technical drawings into a complete polished presentation. Let's open Synapse on my desktop. Now I'm going to open the file I was working on where I created my floor plan and elevation. Here, you can see the drawings I made inside Synapse. You can check out my previous videos to learn how I created these. I will zoom out and pick one of the frames like this one. Here's the floor plan. Let me zoom in a bit. From the top, I am selecting the camera tool. Now, I will zoom in and place the camera facing towards the bed like this. So here we have our camera. Now I'm going to generate the renders for the bedroom. At the bottom, you will notice the prompt bar where you can describe how you want your photorealistic render to look. I'm going to write create a bohemian style bedroom and then I will hit generate and here you can see our frame is ready. Inside this frame, the render will appear. Synapse uses a branching system, so every time you generate a render, a new branch is created. Here we have our bohemian style bedroom. You can see that it has added many elements to match the style. You can find the link in the description to try it yourself. Now I will select this frame and write another prompt, terracotta and beige tones. Hit generate and you will notice another frame has been created. Let's see what Synapse does now. Here you can see it has changed the room's color from green to terracotta and beige tones. And I actually like it a lot. Now let's try another prompt. Remove the chair and make the window full height. Send the prompt. I am honestly impressed at how fast it generates the render. It has removed the chair and it enlarged the window. Not full height yet, but that's okay. Now let's try again with a clearer prompt, full height window and send the prompt. And I'm seriously impressed. It removed only the chair without disturbing other details, which is very rare in AI tools. So good. Oh my God, it actually made the window full height now. Amazing. The plants are still there, but the window is full height. I am impressed. Now, let's add another prompt. Add textured curtains to the window. Send the prompt. I love how it creates this curiosity every time you send a new prompt. You can't wait to see what it generates. This AI never disappoints. And here we have the curtains. This theme looks beautiful. It gives such a bohemian coastal vibe. All the renders look really nice. And you can also see your entire process where you started, what you achieved at every step. When you select a frame, you also get an option to download it as a PDF, SVG and PNG, which is really nice. Now, I will select the camera again. This time, I want to try different styles. Let's type create a Japandi style bedroom. Send the prompt and here we have another branch with a frame. Once the render completes, here's our Japandi style bedroom. It looks really nice, clean, simple, beautifully detailed. You can create multiple versions of the same bedroom in just few seconds. It literally takes around 10 seconds to generate each render. You can send multiple options to your clients and make it so easy for them to choose what they prefer. Now, I will select the camera again and type create a luxury contemporary bedroom. Send the prompt. Here's our luxury contemporary bedroom render. Now, I will modify it. I will select the frame and type remove the sitting near the window, send the prompt, another branch is created. And you can see it has removed the cushions and the decor. But 
kept the bay window so you can keep experimenting and refining your render now i will select the camera again and type create a minimal modern bedroom render send the prompt and here we have another branch this is our minimal style render if you want to edit it further you can i will type white and beige tones and send the prompt another branch is created let's see what it generates now just make sure your prompts are clear so the ai understands what you want and here we have it a white and beige version of the minimal bedroom you can clearly see your entire process where you started and everything you generated you have the floor plans here your renders here and you can download them or share them directly using the share icon at the top with your colleagues clients or teammates and that's your architectural visualization all inside synapse if this tutorial helped you don't forget to like subscribe and share it with someone who is learning synapse and let me know in the comment box below what would you like to explore next in synapse and i will see you in the next tutorial till then happy designing bye bye